I saw these Auntie Anne's soft pretzels in the freezer section of Target. I had to try them out. I picked up a box of these Auntie Anne's soft pretzels from Target. It says you have to heat the oven to 425. I've got that taken care of. And I just bake these for four to six minutes. And while I'm doing that, I can heat up the butter packet. Oh, wait. These aren't like Auntie Anne's pretzels at the mall. What is this madness? What the heck? These are like the other uh, pretzels, the super pretzel. Except instead of six, you get five. Oh well, I'll try it out anyway. Yeah, what's the deal with that? I don't know, maybe they're okay. We'll just have to heat them up and see how they taste. They just don't look as... They don't look as much like the pretzels that you get at an Auntie Anne store as they do like the regular frozen pretzels. Okay, I'll give these about 45 seconds. I like how the uh, pretzel butter is in individual packets, just like the salt. This one doesn't feel too warm. The other one does. This is the enthusiast version of the instructions, by the way. Oh, wait, no, this is the connoisseur. This is the connoisseur where you use an oven or a toaster. And then there's the enthusiast method where you... where you put the pretzel in a toaster. That's kind of cool. You toast for three to four minutes. And then there's the microwave method, where you microwave for 30 to 40 seconds. And that's for the time challenged. Oh, hey, look at this right there on the box. A buy one, get one free coupon for a free pretzel when you purchase one at Auntie Anne's. All right, that's six minutes. There they are. I guess I'm supposed to slather them with this pretzel butter. I guess that's the way it works. It just kind of looks like oil. Maybe it is made with butter or partially butter I don't know but I'm putting it on there because I want the full effect a little bit of salt and it's not sticking close enough they smell good but not quite like the pretzels at the mall or from an Auntie Anne's store. That was hot. Yeah. It tastes kind of Nah, yeah. kind of meh. It tastes, no, it doesn't taste anything like, it tastes neither like the Auntie Anne's pretzels you would get at an Auntie Anne's store, nor does it taste like the Super Pretzel pretzels. I'm still eating them. They're okay.
You're good, and I'm hungry. But if you were expecting to get a frozen product that tastes just like the pretzels at the mall, this is really not even close. Not close at all. So, I'm eating them because I'm starving right now, but no, forget about these if you think you can get Auntie Anne's flavor at home. Nah, not going to happen. 